To reduce poverty level and encourage young entrepreneurs in Orile Agege LCDA, the leadership of the council presented 100,000 naira to 500 residents. The presentation was done in the presence of stakeholders, management team, and staff of the Orile Agege Local Council Development Area. Speaking on the initiative, the chairman, Babatunde Johnson, revealed that the purpose of the exercise is to alleviate poverty among residents. This mega empowerment initiative aims at providing financial support to those who need it most, thereby enabling them to break free from poverty, especially during this challenging period and unlock their potentials. Today, our decision will be giving out the sum of 50 million naira to 500 residents of Orilla Gigel City. Let me tell you, God in his infinite mercy upon whom I stand. This 500 is 500. We are not giving 300 and we call it 500. We are not giving 400 and we call it 500. Beneficiaries expressed delight over the cash support. I love it because it has been in a record since Orila Agege has been, has been existence. There is no chairman to perform or do this kind of job that JS did. This time giving people 100,000, this and that, POS and some other things. No chairman have done it in this Orila Agege. This project was started through him and he has laid, laid the, the good legacy in the state. I've been in the politics for donkey years. I've never, I've never gained anything great like this. I give kudos to God and I give kudos to our chairman for giving us this opportunity to feel that we are not lost in the party we are. Yeah. The problem in Nigeria is that everybody wants the Mr. President to come down from his seat and come and do work. There are three arms of government in Nigeria. We have the legislative, and then we have the executive, and then we have the judiciary. If all of them are doing their work, it will be fine. And then we have even the local government arm, which you come as a chairman, you try and make sure that your local government is okay. Economically, you empower them. And that is what the, 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 the Honorable is doing here today. In fact, I am thrilled. I am in shock. This is my first time of seeing this. With the presentation of this cash support, businesses that were on the verge of folding up will receive a lift. This is the first uh, of its kind. Uh, in Lagos State, coming out uh, with um, 50 million, uh, dishing it out to over 500 um, uh, good people of uh, Orilia Gege, uh, it's a nice one. At least for a reasonable period of time, they will use it to cushion the effect of um, the harsh um, economy. What drives in our society is small-scale business. We must encourage small entrepreneurship. We must encourage the people to have something to be doing. Once they have something to be doing, then uh, the society will be a better place. For example, there are so many people with 20, 25, 30,000. They can just buy little things and uh, they will be having a gain of about 1,000 in a day. Or 2,000 there about. So we now look at it that in order for these uh, to, to serve our people, at a go we are giving 500. When you look at the population in uh, Orilia Gege, 
I think we should be more than 1.5 million. But at the same time, with that 1.5 million, uh, including the children, including the uh, your youths and the adults, that is all those age brackets. But the major thing is getting this women to sell one thing or the other. This is not the first time we'll be doing this. Oh,